Perfect, perfect. Friday and I it's been unbelievable I mean here we are in Moxie's bar it's great to see the fan enthusiasm it's great to feel the energy and people have seen the movie and they love it so it's fun to talk to all the journalists about their experience watching it and I just can't wait for the movie to open I think they're gonna love the energy the fun and the chaos and the mayhem of it you know it's obviously different it's a different experience you know when you're playing the game that is one thing and watching a movie is another thing but so it's an adaptation, and there, I definitely think we caught the spirit and the fun of the game, and I think we're going to have a great time. Uh, I mean, 
obviously it feels amazing. It's uh, it was like a fun long journey. You know, I think we, Randy and I, we've been working together for about 10 years on this, and uh, just really proud and so happy that we're here now. And it's great to be celebrating with everybody. I mean, that was it. Every time somebody signed on to the movie, it was one of those like I can't believe it happened situations, and they were all so gung ho and loving it. I think they're gonna love that it's gonna feel like what they love about Borderlands. I mean, when I first played Borderlands, it wasn't to see if there was a movie. It was just, I like Borderlands. I think the movie captures that spirit of just adventure and a little dysfunction and a lot of joy. I mean, it was wonderful. I mean, Emmy was actually there for the whole journey with me. And uh, when Eli came on board, it just energized the whole movie. And, uh, you know, making a movie is always hard. So having uh, Eli leading it was just fantastic. Mayhem and joy. It's a dream come true, to be honest. I, I've never been, I've been to a lot of conventions in my day, but I've never been to San Diego Comic-Con. And to be here with the cast of Borderlands is really a dream come true. I'm delighted. Kate is Kate, and uh, I think it was the intrepid leader of us all, but, but Ariana is so magnificent, and people are gonna love her in the role. Jack, Edgar, Bobby, Janina. It's, it's unbelievable, honestly, the, the number of people that came together to be, to tell this story. Well, Marcus is irascible, uh, very profit-focused, uh, but also, I think, more invested, perhaps, in people than he lets on. It's been a real honor to be able to pick up the mantle that Bruce DeBose created, making the character across all of these titles for this enterprise. Eli, a mad genius to begin with, and this is like throwing uh, uh, kerosene on a fire, putting him in charge of this kind of a crazy group, disappointing the fans of a video game you don't want to do. So Randy was really there keeping us honest, making sure we knew a Jacobs from a, a Vladoff, bat shit, crazy. I've never been here before. I've, I grew up here, and I was born here, but I never came to um, Comic-Con before. Well, I mean, I love the game. You I mean, the video game was iconic. Um, I'm a gamer. I'm 52, it's fine. I couldn't even believe that I was asked to do the movie, and even when I was shooting it, I was like, I can't even believe I'm in it. And even now, I really believe that I'm here, so, but um, what a great cast. Oh, three words. Zany, action, packed. I mean, it's, I mean, Comic-Con is always, I mean, it never gets old. I mean, it's always an experience, you know? I, I just, I just, I just love how movies and franchises suddenly fall into the scope of Comic-Con. It's fascinating to me. I mean, I hope, I hope that they're, they're they feel happy and, and satisfied that the, that the essence of the, of the game has been successfully translated into, into cinema. And I also hope that they enjoy what the movie adds to the to the franchise. Now it was really it was really great. I mean, we, we, we've, been, we've been talking about it all day that it doesn't happen. It doesn't necessarily happen on all movies. The fact that we all really connected with each other and we all became really good friends. We love each other and we stayed in each other's lives. You know, this is a gigantic film. It's um, bonkers, outrageous, and uh, hungover. When we were first developing this movie, obviously my dream the entire time was to see it at Comic-Con. <laughs> um, as a fangirl, like ride or die, since I was very young, the dream was Comic-Con. I hope they feel like, they, that they feel our love as well and that we're like expanding that community to like even more people to be Borderlands fans. I hope they, they love the swagger of it. We, we hope they're proud to share it, you know? Like that's, that's what I'm hoping that they really are able to like latch onto for them. On set to see them bouncing off of each other and just and just like that energy crackling um, because I think they all brought sides out of each other that they weren't even necessarily expecting themselves but to have them in a room it, it was so entertaining and it's so much fun and Randy's just been like such an important creative partner all the way through like we just always wanted to make sure that like it felt true to what he built um, and that's all we've ever wanted to do I would say Swagger, chaos, and love. And we worked so hard for this to actually nail the, the atmosphere and the vibe of the game. Now we finally come out. I think we nailed it. 
but I can't wait for the fans to, to actually see it and I can't wait for August 9th and then you know the fans have to decide if we nailed it but I think we did first of all it was probably the toughest preparation that I had so far because I was shirtless 24 7 so there was no cheat days allowed I had to be in top shape no matter what because even if you look at the character he's in unreal shape and that was the goal and you know even like my favorite scene is the one with Kevin with Roland when we're stepping into the beer tunnels and fighting against hundreds and hundreds of bandits and that was a work of like four weeks to actually get the choreography down um, I think the, the action sequences the fight scenes are fire it's a huge privilege you know me coming in and then looking at the cast who's like the most incredible cast you could imagine you could hope for we have two Oscar winners in Kate and Jamie we have a global superstar in Kevin um, Edgar Ramirez who's who I personally was idolizing for a very long time Ariana who's probably the most talented young girl I've ever seen in my entire life I haven't been here for quite a few years now I've been a bunch these are my people anyone out there who knows me knows that I have been a geek for a very long time so this is like this is kind of like coming home feels nice for me there are a lot of things that you might be lucky enough to be cast in and work on or whatever but when you actually get to be a part of something that has a fandom of its own it is like your heart hits the jackpot it's you get to share it with people from the moment you enter its universe Knox has a past with Roland and you know what he kind of left and um, that sucks and uh, I, I would say that Knox is not a, the type of girl that you want to just ghost she's kind of not the one um, and so she's not just following orders but she's got a little bit of a, a mission of the heart as well I mean when this kind of opportunity came around I was like how do I where do I when how do I get on a plane and go to, go to Budapest now these people are not just professionals but they're fucking funny and some of them are weird and it's the kind of weird you want to be around so you got the talent you got all that stuff too but they're just like fun I love comic-con it's so great to be back and I think this is the first time I've ever been to Comic-Con for a movie that I've been involved with. Usually I'm here for video games. It was really important to me for all of the fans of our video games, for them to feel like the film respected and was authentic to the world that we created, that I created. Unbelievable cast. I, I mean, Kevin Hart's one of the biggest actors in the world. Kate Blanchett is an Academy Award winning, one of the finest actors in the world. Legendary Jamie Lee Curtis. Like for these folks to want to be involved in my dumb little video game, like it's amazing. I think the fans of Borderlands are gonna notice the little subtleties, the little details that the crew and the cast and Eli helped, helped me and help us kind of get in there. I think that's gonna be a big deal. Borderlands in three words. Chaos loves company. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and comment on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are released.